imagine a storm so powerful it dumps 10 feet of rain in a month. Levees and flood control systems are overwhelmed. The Sacramento and San Joaquin valleys turn into an inland sea 250 miles long, up to 20 miles wide and 20 feet deep. It's not doomsday fiction. The threat is so real it has a name. The Ark Storm. The Ark Storm is patterned after an event that happened, the historic flooding of 1861 to 62. You couldn't walk around the street. It was just uh, people scrambling with rowboats and little houses floating away and furniture and cows. It was 1862. Leland Stanford was sworn in as California's eighth governor, but he wouldn't start his term in Sacramento because California's capital city, along with much of the state, was 10 feet underwater, devastated by 40 days of continuous rain. The culprit? Multiple atmospheric rivers hitting California again and again. These things can carry, you know, up to 10 Mississippi rivers worth of water vapor from the tropics. It's like a fire hose. California, 1862. It has rained for almost 45 days. Fierce storms have inundated a 300-mile length of the Sacramento and San Joaquin Valleys with water. In Southern California, the flooding has drowned thousands of cattle and washed away homes, food crops, and vineyards. The state is bankrupt, and many communities have been ruined and will take years to recover. Research shows that this is not the only big storm of our past, nor the largest. While the great flood of 1862 may no longer be in living memory, a storm of this scale is inevitable once again. This is the Ark Storm. Winter, present day. Weather reports show atmospheric rivers of moisture forming in the tropics, growing larger and gaining speed as they travel towards the west coast. The state braces for the impact of the coming storm, but the public at large does not comprehend the extreme danger the storm poses. The arc storm slams the coast with a fury rivaling that of hurricanes, beginning a process of destruction that will last for weeks. Levees and flood control systems are overwhelmed by the incredible volume of water that has nowhere to go. Widespread flooding occurs throughout the state, severely affecting Sacramento, the Bay Delta, Los Angeles and Orange Counties, San Diego, and many other communities. Over the course of the storm, as much as 10 feet of rain falls. Thousands of landslides occur, damaging homes, highways, and roads. Property damage approaches $400 billion. Much of the total loss is uninsured, so large numbers of building owners do not have the financial resources to pay for repairs. After almost a month of continuous rain, the storm finally subsides, leaving many parts of the state flooded for months to come. How will society deal with the social, economic, and environmental consequences of this tragedy? Together, we can prevent the arc storm from becoming a major catastrophe. How can our government agencies work effectively with one another to create emergency response and evacuation plans so that instead of victims, we would have survivors? What if we could prevent the inundation of major communities through creating more advanced flood controls and levee systems? A heightened level of readiness is essential to averting this potential catastrophe. After all, preparedness is part of our civic duty and obligation to society. To learn more about the Ark Storm and about how you could be part of the solution, go to www.arkstorm.com.